So this is a back view of the Nokia Home Music device. Um, and I just want to kind of go over the different things. This is your power switch. It flicks the entire device on and off, whereas just pressing the power button on the front of the device will just put it into um, standby mode. This is your AC adapter where you can plug it in directly to the wall. This is a USB 2.0 port, so you can plug in a memory stick or a portable hard drive if you have local music. This is your Ethernet port where you can connect to your network wire with a wire as opposed to wirelessly. Um, up, up here is the auxiliary input. If you wanted to add another input to use the built-in speakers on the Nokia Home Music, you could use that. This is an optical port. If you have a uh, surround sound system or other sound system, you can get a little bit higher quality music that way. We have the uh, regular uh, output here for uh, different speakers. And then this is for the FM radio. It comes with an antenna in the box so you can plug into that. And then this is obviously um, for better sound output. So it's just a quick run through of the plugs on the back of the Nokia Home Music. And so this is just a quick size comparison of the Nokia Home Music device. As you can see, sitting next to the Nokia N95 III. Um, it's actually quite a large device, but not incredibly big. Um, you can easily hold it in one hand, and it's pretty deep because it's got the speaker and everything in there. And then obviously the um, ports on the back here. It actually is an angled device, which unfortunately is going to make it a little bit awkward um, on a home stereo setup if you already have a cabinet and everything built. So it's definitely going to have to sit on top of everything else. Um, I definitely wish that Nokia would have made it kind of a more standard size so that uh, maybe even a slimmer profile with um, all the rest of the buttons along here so that it would fit a little bit better in your in your typical uh, sound system. But in any case, this is it. It's got, um, this is your home button here. This is quick access to your favorites. This one goes back, and then this is an options. Um, this is a scroll wheel to select through lists um, in the application, and then you can select with the middle button here. You have play, pause, uh, forward and backward. This is again a, a wheel that you can use to uh, adjust the volume and then the middle of that is mute. There's a headphone jack here and then these are your six uh, presets which you can set to pretty much any type of media. And uh, so that's it for the actual device. It does come with a remote control and the remote control actually has basically the same buttons that are there along the side of the device. Um, you have the direction pad here and unfortunately this is not a touch scroll or anything like that like Nokia's uh, Navi wheel phones but it's just a regular direction pad and then you can press the center these buttons here is home favorites back and option and then play pause um, these are your volume controls here I would definitely like to have seen the volume controls on the remote be a wheel as opposed to buttons that you have to continually press or hold uh, but then these are your presets one thing that I really don't like about this remote is it does not have any backlighting so it does not light up if you're using the home media device in a uh, dark room there's really no way to know what buttons you're pressing on the remote itself so but it's a nice little remote it's small um, and again I would definitely like to see Nokia put together a application for specifically for their touchscreen phones that might work over Wi-Fi on the same network um, that would just have these buttons on the touchscreen though to use with the Nokia home music that would be really cool so I uh, hope you enjoyed our coverage, and that's the device.